guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share with you my makeup collection. It's been years since I've shown it to you guys. It was before I was married, like a couple years ago. And we're actually moving pretty soon, so it will look like this for a little while longer, and then it'll probably look really similar, just in a different place. <laughs> I don't know. But if you're watching to get inspiration for storage, you might get a little bit of inspiration. If you're watching just to see makeup, then you're in luck because you're going to see a lot of makeup. I know that's why I watch makeup collection videos never to get storage tips. Like for me, all I'm trying to see is just a lot of makeup because I like looking at makeup. So if you're here for that, awesome. So hopefully you enjoy the eye candy of the makeup chores and let's go ahead and get into it. So here is my current setup. You can see on the left I have my Alex 9 drawer that I bought from Ikea and on the right I have my shorter but deeper 5 drawer system and I can link those below but they're very very popular here on YouTube because they're perfect storage for makeup and things like that. But then in the middle I've got my desk which I bought from Hot Look and it has two drawers. Hot Look is one of those sites that things come and go on there but if I can find the name of it I will put it there and the link for the website so you can kind of keep your eyes peeled for if it pops up on that site or not. So let's go ahead and get closer. So this drawer is full of my lipsticks here. I've got a lot from MAC. MAC is not really my favorite formula. I've kind of realized they're really drying on my lips but if I did have to recommend one it'd be this one in Patisserie. It's just this perfect, like, everyday color. I really do like that. But, again, I, I don't love them. But I've got a couple of their metallic ones they sent. Velvet Teddy, Dancing Flowers, Blankety, and Ruby Woo. So, we'll see how long these stay in my collection. But, I also have some of my favorites from Bite Beauty. This is Fig and Beetroot. These are so pretty. Fig is like a classic pink. And then I have this mini one called Honeycomb. I kind of accidentally messed it up. But it's another really pretty one. Very, very pigmented though, even compared to the MAC one. But the MAC one is more of a luster, but this one, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I kind of want to get the full size of that honeycomb. And then a subscriber sent me this Charlotte Tilbury one, which I love. I love my NARS Audacious Lipsticks. These are so, so creamy. This one's in Raquel. You can see a theme here. I clearly like this shade of lipstick, but these are ridiculously creamy. And then just got some other ones from the drugstore. I've got some of the Urban Decay ones. These are okay. I'm picky, you can tell, with lipsticks. I really am. Um, but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I've got some from e.l.f., which are pretty good. And just some other random ones from Bour Bour Bourgeois. I can never say that right. Uh, Bare Minerals one. And then back here, I have lip glosses. So these are just, for the most part, traditional lip glosses. I've got my Marc Jacobs one. Two of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides, which are kind of a hybrid, but I love these. I have Bound and Play Pen. And then just some other ones, some ColourPop. Got the Tart Tardis that one of you guys sent. Um, lots of other ones. I've got this, I love my Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Glosses. If you're looking for a good drugstore lip gloss, that is a great one. Got some from By Terry. Um, this is one from, what is this brand again? Misha. It's actually really nice. And then my NYX Beige. This is the second one of these I've had. It smells like cherries. And then back here are more lip glosses, but some of these are like tinted oils. Like these are the e.l.f. tinted oils that are amazing. These are the Too Faced Peach ones that are pretty good. Got my Milani oil tint thing, etc. So, and even like these are some of these lip plumpers I got um, from this brand. So just kind of a mix, but for the most part lip gloss. Over here I have some of my like lip pencils that aren't necessarily lip liners. So my color blurs, color pop lippy sticks, and I even have some of my lip sense things. These are amazing. Um, and then here is all of my lip liner. I swear to you, I just decluttered this and I had like none, and suddenly I have a million of them. So I don't know how it happened, but I get some, like these are both from subscription boxes recently. Um, these bite ones I got from Influencer, they're pretty nice. What ones? I love the ColourPop Lippy pencils. These are genuinely amazing, and I'm not big on ColourPops. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm not always impressed with their stuff, but their Lippy pencils are fantastic. Um, got a Charlotte Tilbury one, which is amazing. But truly, drugstore-wise, I would recommend these Wet n' Wild gel lip liners. I bought every single shade. They are amazing. This is one called Gone Burgundy. Gone Burgundy? You're welcome. These are so creamy. They stay in place pretty well. You don't need to sharpen them. Um, nice packaging for a drugstore. So that is stellar. So that is this first drawer. This is going to be a long video. So this next drawer is full of more lip products. These are lipsticks that don't fit well in the little container I have here. And by the way, like this container 
is from a like big beauty box I had, but I, I didn't use the box very much. So I'm just using the actual drawers. This is from probably the container store. This I bought on Amazon, I can link it. But then like this, I think I bought at the Dollar Tree. So it really, you can get these kinds of containers for really, really cheap, TJ Maxx, anywhere like that. Anyway, so these are lipsticks that didn't fit in that container, like literally physically they couldn't fit because of their shape. My favorite luxurious lipstick of all time, you might already know, is the Marc Jacobs ones. Uh, my love started with this O'Malley shade. These are crazy creamy. The NARS ones are really similar, but these do not budge. I mean, obviously there are still a lipstick, so you're gonna need to re reapply at some point, but I love this one. And then this one's called Infamous, which is a beautiful pink, deeper pink, but more like rosy. And then this one is in Sonic Truth, which is very similar to those there. Oh my gosh, so these are amazing if you're wanting to splurge. Anyway, I've got my Edward Best. This is what I wore on my wedding day. This one's in the shade Rose Demure. I bought this one on Hot Look as well. It's the prettiest, oh my gosh. Not very long wearing, and I think if I could change one thing, I wouldn't have worn this on my wedding day, but the color of it was perfect. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, got some Laura Mercier. I've got these Hourglass ones. So you'll see back here, I have a bag of lip products. And this is a bag of like some from L'Oreal, The Balm, Hourglass, MAC. Um, just products that they're either colors I know I'm not going to use. And if I decide to do a swatch video of all of them, I want to still have them. But I think over time, I'll start to weed through and say, okay, I'm not going to do a video on these. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. But these are colors that I wouldn't necessarily wear myself or I really just don't need. So those are kind of living back there in that bag for now. But I did pull out some of the Hourglass Lip Stilos that they sent that were my favorite. I love this one in Believer. Again, it's like that same shade. I know this is so ridiculous. But I like these. They're just comfortable. And I've got some of the Smashbox ones, this YSL. These are not really worth the money. They're okay, but they're not worth the money. Um, this is almost gone. Again, another product that I, it's good, but I really don't think it's necessarily worth the money. I do like these Giorgio Armani little, what do they call these? Lip magnets. Those are nice. I've got my Neutrogena Moisture Stick. I love that thing. Just other lip balms. One of my favorite Revlon Ultra HD lip things. This one's in the shade HD Sand, and I've been wearing that like every day. But anyway, some other e.l.f., Burt's Bees, Clinique. Just little um, lip balms. I love this Hanalei Lip Treatment. It is, I have like three or four of these floating around. They're so expensive, and they're totally worth it. All right, let's move on. Oh, I didn't even talk about these. So I do have some of the L'Oreal Infallibles that I really, really like. I have one, I think, living in my purse as well. But, and then I have, these are a lot of liquid lipsticks. So like my Wet n Wild ones, their liquid cat suits are amazing. I've got the Rimmel ones, my lip scents. Um, that's pretty much it. Cap on D1, I'm not a huge fan of. I really don't like that. But that's where those live. So in this third drawer down, I have all of my unopened mascaras here, eyeliners, brows, lashes, and then just some like backups of things. So let's kind of go through it. My mascaras, I don't keep every mascara I receive. I just don't. I declutter these from time to time even though they're not used and I just pass them on to sisters, friends, coworkers just because if I know I have no interest in it or I've not heard great things, I'm like, well, why even hold on to it? Some of these I haven't heard anything about. Like I don't know anything about this Nuance brand um, mascara, but I've heard the Mad Lash is pretty good. Got some Clinique Chubby Lash uh, things. My It Cosmetics Tight Line is a backup. I already love that. I've got a MAC one. Um, I don't even remember. I think maybe one of you guys sent that to me. I don't remember. Um, more Clinique. I've got some waterproof ones I haven't opened just because I'm saving for when I actually need waterproof. Some Estee Edit. This Milk one. Prestige. I think I actually bought that one. Um, and just a couple other drugstore ones I've just never tried. So keeping those, but I try not to open more than one or two. And the ones that I have open are in my everyday makeup drawer, which I will give you a sneak peek of here in a little bit. So then my liners, uh, lots of black. I mean, I really am pretty boring when it comes to that. I do have a couple um, blue ones. Like these infallible paints are redonkulous. They are so, I gotta show you, so, so ridiculously pigmented and beautiful. So if you're looking for like a stark color, these would be a great because they've got all kinds of colors. Um, they even have a white. Anyway, so then I've got like some Too Faced, more of those. Some of these are like ones that I've had open that I probably need to go through, like this Ico one I feel like I've had for a little bit. I should probably go through and declutter. Um, I have some unopened ones from like the Balm. Who is this from? Rimmel. Just 
just all kinds. And I do have like a gray Lancome one I like in the shape Kiwi. So that is that. And then over here, Maybelline recently sent all of their brow things. So I kept ones for now that I haven't tried or, although I'm pretty sure I've tried that and I didn't like the brush. Anyway, colors that I thought would be good and the other colors I'm passing on. I have some backups of my favorite Hourglass um, Arch eyebrow pencil. It's like a triangular shape. They sent me some backups recently. It was so sweet because I literally love that so much. Speaking of brows, oh, here it is. This is what it is. So it has a spoolie, of course, on one side. It's totally dirty. And then it's got a triangular tip. Now, Anastasia has one like this as well. I think even the drugstores now do too. I might even have one in there. But I love this shade for me as well. I have it in Ash. But I have some pomades. This is one from L'Oreal that's pretty good. I've got the Cabral from Benefit. Oh, the Maybelline Brow Drama. I haven't tried that yet. Some nuance stuff. This e.l.f. one is really good for like a couple dollars. Um, soap and Glory, etc. This is a beauty blender holder that you can leave up for now. I'm not using it, so I just have it in there. Some lash glue, some lashes. I love, these are probably, I don't wear lashes that often. These are one of my favorite though, the Ardell Wispy, Demi Wispies, very simple. I have really fallen in love with though these Kiss um, blooming lashes where it's like multi-angles on the side. You can't see the lash band. It is amazing. They sent me these a long time ago, but I've recently kind of started wearing them and they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they look natural, but still like voluminous. Does that make sense? So that is everything in this drawer. So here's the fourth drawer down. These are lots of single eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows mostly, and then primers. So over here, I've got um, just some classic eye primers. These are all pretty good, but I end up reaching for my uh, and of course, it's in my everyday makeup drawer. I'll show you in a sec. But I always reach for my Milk, uh, my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I use that almost every day. And when I don't use that, I use this one, which is the NYX Eyeshadow Base. I'm just really digging white bases lately because they really do make your eyeshadow pop way more, even if it's a neutral look. Um, but I still like all of these. I think these are really good. The Milani one is one of my absolute favorites from the drugstore. It's so good. The NYX Proof, it's pretty good as well. Back here, I have all of my Milk Eye Pigments. They sent some wild colors I don't use as often, but they're unbelievable. These are so pigmented. My favorites are After Party, and is this one, oh, Hotel Lobby, where's Gig? Gig is another, that one's Gig. These are just gorgeous cream shadows, but they're more like liquid, but they dry and they do not move, and they're, oh my gosh, I'll just show you one. They, they are hard to get off though, so I might have that swatch on the rest of the, the movie. Movie video. Isn't it so pretty? This is still not doing it justice, but it is so gorgeous. All right, I wiped it off before it set in. So here I've got my cream shadow. So I've got some from Revlon here. I really like this shade in 740. It's really pretty. My pure eye polish in Silk. It is amazing. Uh, it's just like a liquid-ish, but it's like you get it through this mesh net. Okay, it's, oh, I wonder if it's like going bad. Maybe I should store it upside down, smarty. Anyway, but it's an amazing, it is an amazing product. I think I am going to store that upside down. Got one color tattoo in Too Cool, and it's just okay. These just go bad so quickly. I feel like they just dry out, so I don't keep a lot on hand. I love these MAC Paint Pots. Painterly and Soft Ochre are the ones I use for primer on my eye when I'm not using something else. Indian Wood is, I use this all the time in the mornings. Like, I'll show you guys on Snapchat often. It is the prettiest like bronzy color and it's so perfect for just like one a one eyeshadow look you just put it on your lid blend it into the crease and you're ready to go i love that and i've got some from elf this is their smudge pot in wine knot it's so pretty this is one of their best their long lasting long lasting lustrous eyeshadows are the prettiest and this is in soiree bobby brown one is kind of crummy these are my only two color pop shadows i own at this point um and they're gorgeous. This one is in Lovely. It's more like a golden tone. And then this one's in I Heart This, and it's more cool toned. And then back here, I've got some like pigments. These Marsk pigments, pigments are gorgeous. This one's in Vanilla Frosting, and then this one is my favorite in Your Toast. I think I got these in subscription boxes, and they're some of the best I own. Got some from The Balm. This Illuminati from Artist Couture is unbelievably gorgeous on the eyes and as a highlight. Got my Amber Rush from L'Oreal. Um, oh, two MAC pigments, tan and vanilla. 
those are the two best but you really don't need this size if you can get it in there to go size that's the way to go because i'm never going to use all of that but i've got some other random ones this nars duo was gorgeous in he sold it's so pretty oh my gosh um, and then back here is simply a bunch of like i've got some of my the balm batter up sticks that are just like cream eyeshadow sticks i've got these l'oreal infallible paint duos some of the maybelline color tattoos some of the elf ones that they sell so it's just kind of a mix i don't use these very often i have a feeling this part of my collection will probably be decluttered pretty soon because i really feel like i don't use those very often but that is this drawer so the next drawer is my blush now i used to have my blush in rows in little containers but i realized that i would still reach for the same three blushes because i felt like even though yes i knew what every th single thing was I just never really saw saw it and so I never used it and this way obviously I have more than what fits in here but at least this way I can really see everything and actually use it now some people have made like DIY really cool things where it's kind of more um, I don't know kind of presented prettier but I don't mind this right now and I'm kind of surprised at how I don't mind it because I thought it would bother me but I can really see everything. So I've got some of my favorites in here, some NARS blushes, this e.l.f. one. Dallas is one of my favorite blushes of all time. So is this one, this Hourglass one in Mood Exposure. And then I have MAC Melba and this Becca one in Flower Child. These are both pretty new to me. Um, some Bobbi Brown ones, those are okay. They're nice, but I don't know that they're worth the money. I don't think any blush is at this point because the reality is that pretty much all of them will stay on pretty well. Some of them are duds, drugstore or high-end, but I feel like you can find plenty of drugstore ones that will stay on all day, like the e.l.f. one I love. Um, these are pretty good. This one I didn't like as much. Pixie has gorgeous glowy products, and this glowy, this really, it's called Peach Honey, and it's a beauty blush duo. You could wear this as the blush if you want, and this is the highlight, or mix them. Either way you do it, though, um, it's so, so pretty. That highlight did not swatch well though but I just usually mix it together and use it as like a blush topper I probably could move that to my highlighter drawer but it's just a little bit too peachy to be just a highlighter for me um, so moving along I've got my butter blushes I've got some blushes from the balm back there this juice beauty one quo blushes that you, one of you guys sent to me and they're amazing um, I like the be matte blush and then I've got some of my kits back here so I've got like my hourglass one I use this all the time. I'll just swirl my entire brush in it and just put it on my cheeks. I love it. Um, I've got these Revlon ones back here. Actually, are pretty good. I was surprised. I did not, however, like this NYX Ombre blush. It was just, I don't know. Like, I think color-wise, it was just all wrong for me. It looked crazy on me. If you had a deeper skin tone, it would probably be gorgeous because it was still pigmented. But anyway, and then I have just some, I've got like this Too Faced one, the L'Oreal one, just other little kits back there. So yeah, those are all of my blushes. So this is my highlighter drawer. And again, the same idea where I've kind of got them spread out. And like I said, I have more than can just sit there. They have to kind of be stacked a little bit, but I don't mind that. But I have wrangled a couple of things. Like these are liquid type products. Okay, just kidding, because literally the thing I'm holding is not liquid. But some of them are more liquidy, and then some of these are just like sticks. Or like this is more of a cream. I love these RMS Beauty ones. Anyway, um, and then I've got mostly powders on here. Of course, these are bigger liquid ones that wouldn't fit. So I've got like my Laura Mercier one. It's a very subtle one. This one is gorgeous from the drugstore. This is the physician's formula. I'm going to swatch this for you because it is so beautiful. If I can get my arm around the camera here. Oh my gosh. It's like the prettiest drugstore highlight. You can get it darker or lighter. You can kind of see depending on where you swatch. It is amazing. So then I've got some MAC ones, these Becca ones. This is one that shattered and I had to repress with like alcohol, mixing it and letting it dry. It actually came together pretty well. <laughs> I have to admit, I thought no way it's gonna work, but it does. Um, an hourglass strobing one, I don't think these, I, I like it, but it's, I don't think these are worth the money. I would say get an hourglass, um, get, if you're gonna spend the money on hourglass like powders, I would go for the blushes or the like kind of finishing powders, not the strobing. The strobing ones are good, but there's just a lot of glitter in one, at least the one I have. These Ofer ones are amazing, but way overpriced if you buy them full price. I got these in like boxy charms or something. Um, Smashbox, Essence, um, Vasanti, this one is amazing. Makeup Revolution. And then back here, I've just got like my L'Oreal one. Actually, that could go in there. 
And then I've got like my e.l.f. ones, some kits that I have. I keep calling them kits. They're like, what do you call these? Like palettes. Um, of course, this has other things too, but my favorite part of this palette is the highlight, which is why this is in the highlighter drawer. And that's kind of a good rule of thumb if you're like, where do I put this if you've got things in separate drawers? Ask yourself, what's your favorite part of the palette? Well, what part are you more likely to use and put it in that drawer? Got my e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, the Hourglass uh, Trio I've had forever. I love, again, I'll just grab all three and put it either all over the face or just as a more subtle highlight. I love it. I have my Wet n Wild highlighting powders. Those are okay. I feel like I haven't used them enough. I probably should pull them up from back there. But um, And then I also have, see, I forgot about this stuff. I have my Luna highlighter back here that I was loved last month and then I forgot about. It's a crazy color, but it is so beautiful. I'm going to put that there. And then I have these newer e.l.f. ones. They're high, HD highlighting powders. These are pretty good. I mean, I don't think they're like you need to write home about them, but they're pretty good. So that is in that drawer. So this is my bronzer drawer, and hopefully you can hear me. I'm literally sitting on the ground at this point. But um, I have, I honestly, I think it's a pretty good mix of high-end drugstore for this. This is the Estee Edit bronzer. I really, really like this. It's in the barest bronzer. It used to have like this splash of glitter on top, but that came off pretty quickly. And I like the actual bronzer inside, and I think the packaging is cool. This pure one is also amazing. These are just ginormous though. What is with companies being obsessed with making huge bronzers? I, I agree that it should be bigger because you want a kind of a fluffy brush to bronze up your face. But I mean, some of these are just gargantuan, gargantuan, but I love that one too. I got my Marc Jacobs Duo. And again, I use this more than I use that. So I figure it makes sense to keep it in here. I like this for an under eye setting powder, but it's a really expensive one. You could buy the Wet n Wild ones that they have. That's like the same exact duo, and honestly, it's, I mean, it's, I don't think it stays on as long, but it's still pretty close, but this is in Mirage filter. And then I have a Becca one I just recently bought on Hot Look for half price, and it's pretty good. I mean, it's, I mean, actually, it's really good. I've only used it like once so far, so I'll have to use that some more. I have my Kevin Aquan sculpting powders in medium and light, and I love the one in light. It's the perfect, like, gray tone. It's really pricey, though. I got my NARS uh, bronzer in Laguna, but then I also have this e.l.f. one, and it's a cream one. I love this. It reminds me of this Chanel one, the Universal, that I thought I would hate and ended up loving. Well, this one, same thing. It is this amazing, creamy bronzer. It just blends into your skin. I know it looks like it wouldn't, but it blends in so beautifully if you use like a stippling brush and a light hand. It is so gorgeous. And then you're not adding more powder and dry stuff to your face if you have dry skin like I do. So then I got my By Terry stuff. This is just a really pretty like bronzy serum. You could put all over your face or you could put it in targeted areas. You could darken a foundation with it. It's really nice. Butter bronzer, you guys know I love. This pure bronzer, I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Um, Balm Desert and Bahama Mama. The Balm Desert one, I like a little bit more than Bahama Mama for my skin tone. So the difference between these two is the Balm Desert's just a little bit more reddish. Bahama Mama's a little bit more, uh, I almost want to say it's cooler than it, even though really neither one of them are cool toned by any means. I have my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I used to have all of these, and I have since gotten rid of, I think, literally all of them but this one, the Chocolate Soleil. I thought I would like the Milk Chocolate, but it was just too light. It didn't really show up. Then I have my e.l.f. Contour Palette. I have this Balm Palette, Smashbox, Contour. See, I forgot I had this, and I just recently got it. This little contour kit, I literally think I have swatched, so that's crazy. I bought this one for 50% off on Hot Look 2. Um, anyway, and then a Revlon one as well, which is okay. So that is this drawer. So almost done with these. This is my hair care drawer. Um, I think pretty much everything here in this front section, it's obviously, I mean, I use things and throw it back in here, so it's not really organized, but I can see everything I use. So if I'm wearing my hair naturally curly, I'm using my Rusk Wired Gel, or like cream, and then I put this Living Proof Mousse, and then I spray it with my favorite, favorite hairspray, the Bedhead Masterpiece. This stuff smells amazing, it holds amazingly, I love it. Um, but if I'm wearing my hair straight, I usually am using some kind of an oil. This is just the one I'm using now from Dessange Paris. And once my hair is straightened or whatever, I like to put in this little um, dry oil from Nukes, or Nux, I never know how to say it. Um, I also, small little small little shout out to this braid aid from Redken. If you're braiding your hair, 
you just put a little bit of this in it, it's just a cream, and it kind of adds a little bit of texture to your hair and hold so that your hair is not flying out of your braid everywhere. It's so amazing. Who thought of this? It's genius. And then I have some like texture sprays that are more expensive than I ever want to say. It's embarrassing. Um, just some like little hair things I use. I switch off what I use to hold my hair back in the morning. Um, and then I have some things that I've started using or I haven't opened yet. Like this is a dry conditioner I haven't opened yet. Um, but for the most part, these are all things that I have opened, I've started using, and I'm just kind of switching between all of these. I have a lot of hair backups elsewhere that I probably won't show you today. Um, but maybe once I move, I would show you guys all my backups. And by backups, I mean things I have that I'm going to use. So this last drawer is really boring. I just have my John Frieda hair dryer, uh, my diffuser for when I do wear my hair curly, brush. I have all of my, I bought like a big pack of these at like, I don't know, Big Lots, TJ Maxx. Just these blue washcloths. Honestly, I probably bought them at like Walmart. But I just, I use them like for a couple days just to wipe my brushes off. You know, any mess I make while I'm getting ready. And then I just throw them in the wash with my darks and then that's that. So it's perfect. I used to use white, but I realized like white you can see, like even when you wash it or whatever, you can just see all the mess. So that's pretty much all that's in this drawer. Very not exciting. So now we're gonna work on this system here. I might start with the bottom and go up this time just to keep you on your toes. So in this drawer is all my nail polish and brushes. So um, I really, this actually is horribly stained, like that's not coming out. It from nail polish remover that I had on its side. So lesson learned, don't ruin your things by leaving it on its side. I really like, this is just from like a store near me called Meyer, but um, these kinds of nail polish removers are great because typically if you have a system like this, you can just leave it upright um, or maybe leave it like under your sink. It is not worth ruining. I'm so sad. But in here, I just have this little bag, Flower Beauty scent once, um, and I have literally all of my nail things. So I've got, you know, cotton rounds, some Q-tips, files, like travel nail polish remover pads, all kinds of things like that, cuticle removers. But I like kind of wrangling them in something like this because I don't need to see them every day, but it's nice to have it all together and not necessarily in an open container. So that's a great way to use old makeup bags or just makeup bags you have laying around. And then this is actually what I'm wearing on my nails now. This is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in Malibu Peach. But um, this is my favorite top coat and base coat and they supposedly discontinued it and I could throw up about it because these are incredible. So I should have stocked up while I had the chance. Um, I don't keep a lot of nail polish. I used to, um, I go through it all the time. Like right here I see that I have almost double so I'm probably gonna get rid of one of the two things like that, but I try not to have too many of any one color, but I've got a couple. I really do like the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel line, um, clearly because I have quite a few. I like OPI, but I mean, these are about the same price, and I think the Sally Hansen one might be a little bit better, but it really does depend on your top, base and top coat. Um, another great top coat I'm sure most of you guys know of is Setch V. It is incredible, very similar to the Formula X. Um, but yeah, I've tried a couple of the Formula X like nail polishes and I they're all right. I really it's just that base and top coat. Anyway, so that's all of that. And over here then I have my brushes. So well this is actually something Tweezerman sent. It's just a bunch, it always falls out when I open it. Just a bunch of the Tweezerman products, like brow things. So I'm keeping that for now. I might eventually really go through it and think like, okay, what am I actually using? What am I not? And maybe not keep this entire roll. But then in here, I have all of my eye brushes, or just smaller brushes in general. So I just keep them all in here. They're safe, they're not getting all dusty. Not that that really bothers me, because this is not, but um, just all kinds of different things. That way when I'm cleaning some, or maybe it's just time for a fresh one, I can just reach in here and grab some. And again, I try to declutter those often. I have some empties back here. <laughs> I don't have a place for my empties yet. Again, once we move, I'm hoping to have like an actual basket to hold them, but I don't have room for a basket right now. And then here, this is my Disney World Vera Bradley. You can see little Mickeys. Um, in here, I have all, this is probably a horrible way to store it, but guys, it is what it is. It's just makeup and it's just brushes. But I have all kinds of different, like my beauty blenders are in here, my big brushes, things like that. Um, it's actually really full right now because I just cleaned all of my brushes. Uh, but I didn't like having them open and rolling around. It was taking up more room than it really needed to take. 
So that's what's in that drawer. So in this drawer is my palettes. I think every single palette I own is in here, I think. Unless there's some in my everyday makeup drawer, I don't think there are. Um, of course, this is not my single shadows or really small palettes, but, or my like small like quads, but everything else is in here. So it's a really heavy drawer. I probably should have it on the bottom, but I don't. Oh well. <laughs> um, but I, there's really no organization to it other than I just had kind of bigger palettes here, thinner palettes here, and then really big ones that have to lay on their side are here. So I've got my Lorac Pro 1, 2, and 3 here. I have my Urban Decay palettes, but I also have this Pure Cosmetics one, which is similar to the Naked 3, but I don't own the Naked 3. Um, and then, actually, I usually have these a little bit more organized. Good job, Jess. So I have my Too Faced palettes here, my Peach one, my regular chocolate bar, and then my Semi Sweet. And then my favorite, the Modern Renaissance I love. It gets so dirty, though. This one's new to me. It's a Smashbox Double Exposure. It's pretty good. I don't feel like I can get a complete look out of it just for the way I like to do looks. I feel like I need a medium brown, but I was surprised because the, the first full exposure one I did not like. I ended up returning, but this one I was surprised. It was pretty good. My Kat Von D Shade and Light, the Visart palette in uh, neutral matte, surprisingly amazing. Well, not surprisingly because it was crazy expensive. It better have been freaking amazing. My Naked Ultimate Basics, this um, Estee Edit one. I used to have the white one as well, but I decluttered that. Um, and I know I keep talking about decluttering. If you want to see my declutters, I will link the playlist. There are a bunch, and I've gotten rid of a ton. So back here, I've got um, a bunch of e.l.f. palettes, uh, some sleek palettes that I've kept. I used to have like 10. I now only have like two. I really like that one. That one's in Au Natural. And then this one's in All Night Long. I just thought those are so pretty. Pretty good quality. Not like the best quality in the world, but pretty good. Um, some of my Too Faced palettes, I don't like the peanut butter and honey, <laughs> I just don't. Um, other palettes I just don't like, but I'm kind of keeping for reference right now. I hated this one. <sighs> so much. Very disappointing. But some good drugstore ones, I really like the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes, any of that line actually. I love the Milani palettes that look like this, those are all really good. Um, anyway, so I've got some Morphe, I've got these amazing studio makeup ones that I've fallen in love with. I have two of them. Um, some from the Balm. This hard candy one. Go to Walmart and go pick this up. You will thank me later. It is amazingly pigmented, all matte. I want to say it's around 10-ish dollars. Oh my gosh. It is amazing for a drugstore. It's just an amazing palette period. Not even because it's drugstore. Just amazing. Go pick that up. I've got a bunch of the Balm ones. I don't touch most of them, but I love the Balm Up Tea. I think this is the prettiest palette, so that one is a great one. Then back here I have a lot of my Z palettes. I loved this one I got. Um, and I take a lot out when I travel and just put them in like smaller ones like this one to travel with. But um, my friend Laura made me this one for my birthday this past year. Isn't that cool? Because she knew I liked, of course, white marbles. So that's awesome. So I have shadows in there as well. And then I just have some empty Z palettes back there just for whenever I need them. So in this third drawer is all of my foundation and powder. Where to begin? So this is the container. I don't remember some company sent something in it. So there's the lid and the box and they're perfect for this. So um, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason here. Really, this is everything. And then stuff that I'm using right now or that's a really good shade for me or that I'm trying out are all kind of right here. So these are the ones I'm reaching for a lot. These are the ones I still reach for all the time, but they're just kind of corralled elsewhere. Um, this one I think is the wrong shade. I just recently got things like that. This one I use all the time. Really could easily be over there. But I've got um, some of my favorite the It Cosmetics CC creams. I like the regular better than the Illuminating, but I mix them sometimes. Um, I hated this e.l.f. foundation serum. I wish I would have liked it, but I did not like it. Um, some more of my favorite uh, BB creams. I really like the Bare Minerals Complex Complexion Rescue, the Misha one. This is one of my favorites, the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. Just amazing. They're all kind of it's going to sound weird, but more gray toned, and I feel like that's more wearable for me. Um, and they have decent coverage for being just a BB cream. But then I've got my number seven, Stay Perfect. I've got another, just lots of BB cream type things, some drugstore products. I really was surprised at how much I liked the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur. That's a really good one from the drugstore. Um, over here, I've got my Makeup Forever stick that I'm trying out, my Holy Grail Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I'm trying to compare them. 
I think I still like the Hourglass one better, just for the record. I'm really liking the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Not super high coverage, but just comfortable. This Wet n Wild one has really good coverage. Um, ooh, then I've got my beloved Other Holy Grail, my Elf Flawless Finish. These are two I'm still kind of trying out. This is my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops to lighten foundations because I usually accidentally get them too dark. And then this is another foundation from number seven. Then back here, I have my cushion foundations. I've got some L'Oreal ones, a Misha one, a Maybelline one, some refills. This It Cosmetics, the serum stuff. It's kind of weird. This Bobbi Brown is another like cream one. And then what's this? Oh yeah, I have a baby custom cover drops. Um, anyway, and then my Revlon Colorstay Wit one. So those are all in there. And then back here I have all my powders. I literally have like three or four powders. So I've got like my Hourglass Dim Light back here, my Wet n Wild one. I love the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear one. Great powder foundation, great coverage, but it still looks healthy. And then I have things that are the wrong shade for me. Oh, and a Beauty Blender. No. Um, so I've got, literally I own three of the Wet n Wild Photophobia. That's ridiculous. How do I own three? So I own three of these. I've never owned that many of any foundation. I'm glad that one's cheaper. I own two of the Hydra Boost, two of the Elf. Oh, I'm becoming one of those people that own like five shades. I've never used to do this, I promise. Um, Elf, or er, not Elf, It Cosmetics sent me all these confidence in a compact thing, so I have a couple shades. Um, oh, I have the Elf Mattifying Balm. I forgot about that stuff. Really cool. Got some bare minerals. Oh, I have backups of my favorite uh, Hourglass Vanish foundation stick back there as well. So that's everything in this drawer. So this drawer is concealers, setting sprays, and then loose powders way back there. So again, this is just a container from one of those big beauty box things I had. But I have all of my concealers for the most part over here. So I do have some stick ones. I really don't use this kind very often. And I don't really like those very much. But I've got... Um, the Kat Von D one I love, the Born This Way Shape Tape. I like the Naked Skin and the number seven Radiant Glow. I love this one. Um, oh my gosh. But I have some Squeezy Tube ones as well. Um, the Wet n Wild one, Bye Bye Under Eye. And then over here I have like under eye setting powders. So I have the Besame ones. I got a little kit of three. The Amazing Bare Minerals Concealer and Well Rested is the, the most brightening, ridiculous, Oh my gosh, like when you see people in videos and you're like, what, how do their under eyes look that perfect? It's this stuff, I swear, it's amazing. Anyway, um, and then I have some other things. Again, I don't really love these. I don't know that they're gonna live in my collection for much longer. I just recently got the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer. It's, I've literally used it once as of the day I'm filming this, so I can't really tell you how it is. The Pixi Corrector's pretty good. Um, some more e.l.f little setting powders. This Essence one is pretty crummy. A Bobbi Brown one I use from time to time. And then this is a NYX finishing powder that's really good. It's like a banana shade. It's perfect and it's like five bucks. Back here I have way too many setting sprays. So I've got my favorite Scandinavia. It's almost gone. Um, the Tatcha one, again, I've talked about it. I don't love it for my skin tone, skin type, which I have dry skin. You'd think it'd be good for it, but it's just too luminous. I still use it from time to time and I'm really trying to look like ba-bam, but I so rarely use it, and that's why I say I don't know that it's worth your money unless you know you would use it all the time. Kat Von D Lock that I'm kind of testing out. I love the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Run out and get this stuff if you can find it. MAC Prep and Prime. Kind of zoomed you in back here. So I have my Laura Mercier Cover FX powders. I love both of these. I did a comparison video I can link. Um, this Givenchy one is way too expensive and not, I mean, it's good, but not worth the money. The NARS one's pretty good. And then I have some drugstore ones. I've got like my NYC one, my hard candy one, and a number seven one. And then this one's from Pixie. So just kind of a plethora, but I really do use this front row more than anything. But I really like the NYC one as well. So this last drawer in this is my primer and skincare drawer. I cannot believe how many freaking primers I have. Like it's weird, right? Like why do I, why am I this obsessed with primers? I don't even know how it happened. Anyway, it, but I love them. And I, it's like the weirdest thing. I feel like I literally have way more primers than foundations or lipsticks or anything. I mean, I have more primers than anything else in my collection. That is sickening, but I can't help it. 
Um, I just like, I like my skin looking really nice and primers do just that for me. Anyway, so I kind of have it organized. There are two sections here. These are like moisturizing primers. These are more blurring, pore filling kind of primers. And then these are like glowy primers. So, oh my gosh, I love primers. Okay, my heart's like pounding. I'm so excited to talk about these. I love this CoverFX Calming Primer. It really does just, if your skin's all red, I feel like it just really immediately kind of, it's not even like a cooling primer. It doesn't even have that feel, but it's just a really nice, clean primer to put on your skin. I love it. I love my Marc Jacobs Coconut One. This Makeup Forever one, I, it looks like I've used a lot. I really haven't used that much. Um, I was very impressed with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This one blew me away, and it got rid of redness almost instantly. If you saw my Get Ready With Me, my drugstore one recently, I'll link it. I tried this out, my skin is all red, and like I swear when I was editing, I looked, and I'm like, what? 30 seconds later, my skin was not red anymore after putting this on. Um, a lot that I'm still trying out, like the e.l.f. hydrating one I'm trying out, the Smashbox hydrating. I love my Too Faced Hangover RX one. That one's amazing. And then just some other little ones. This e.l.f. one's really good, too. And then over here, I have more blurring ones, like I said. I love my Milk Blur Stick. This Estee Edit one I'm still trying out. It was pretty amazing, though, the one time I've tried it. I have some from, some from The Ordinary uh, that I'm trying. Hourglass, I love. The Bye Bye Pores really grew on me, and I do like it. All of the e.l.f. primers are good. I mean, I'm still trying a lot out, but every single one I've tried are really good. So you kind of just find one that you need, and you'll probably love it. Um, oh, that is unscrewed. That would have been really bad. Um, I have some Smashbox, NYX Pore Filler, NYX Angel Veil, some Catrice, just all kinds. I just love primers. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to shut this, to be honest with you. Oh, my gosh. All right. So back here, I have glowy ones, so I have this YSL Blur Primer. I mean, really, I guess I could put this up here, but it just looks prettier back here. The Honey Do Me Up. Some of these really aren't necessarily glowy, but I don't know. I just need a room. The Prime and Find from Catrice is one of my all-time favorites. I travel with this all the time. The Becca Backlight one is beautiful. This is one of my favorites. The Peter Thomas Roth. It's so glowy. You could even mix this with lotion and just like make your whole body look amazing. So I've got some strobe cream. The Pure No Filter is good. This is an amazing one from the drugstore. The Milani Prime Light is so good. And then over here I have my makeup primer spray, some little correctors that I really don't ever use from Algenist. This Kevin Aquan one I actually do like. I need to try out some more. And then back here is like I've got some e.l.f. products I haven't even opened. I, the, these are backups. I use these constantly. The makeup remover pen. I always buy like two or three just to have them back up. I've got more uh, makeup removing cloths, uh, just like my favorite moisturizers. I love these moisturizing sticks like this one from e.l.f. Just different moisturizers, things like that back there, and some eye creams. So I've got the two drawers open right now. I'll show you this right drawer first. So um, I do this video called Everyday Makeup Drawer where I show what's in these two drawers. Like I try to do it once a month, sometimes it's every other month. So if you're ever just curious, this is where I keep things that are either new to me that I'm trying out or that are just favorites that I want at really close reach so I don't have to go searching for it. So this is a great example over here of just favorites. So I've got my L'Oreal lacquer liner. It's my favorite black gel liner. My Glossier Balm.com lip balm. Um, my Anastasia Dick Brow Pomade, I love. I've got a Beauty Blender. I'm trying out this Makeup Drop silicone thing. It's interesting. Um, tweezers, things like that. Um, some lip products I'm trying out from Restore C. And then over here are just a bunch of products that are new to me. So these are all the Estee Edit Flash Illuminators they sent. Um, I'm really liking this one here. But So I'm trying those out. I'm trying out this Milk Holographic Stick. This one's in Mars. I actually really like that. Um, and then some that I just love. I love this It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Here's another powder of mine. The NYX No Filter is pretty good. A Pixie Contour Powder. My favorite bronzer, the number 7 bronzer in golden sand. It's just amazing. It not the packaging gorgeous. Some new Physicians Formula things. This is an Estee Edit highlighter I'm trying out called. Uh, it's their Fluid Powder in Heat. And then my favorite drugstore eyeshadow, period, in what is it called? Nude Glow from Maybelline. It is like, oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that's what's in this drawer. Let's move over to the other one. So this drawer on the left is really boring. 
<laughs> it actually usually looks really different than this, but this is just what's happened lately. I've recently acquired a lot of products. So um, let's over here, I just have a lot of no nonsense stuff. I've got my makeup removing wipes. I usually don't use on my face. I use like for swatches. My color switch, which really you could make your own for like a dollar, so don't buy it. But I still use it now that I have it. Some lip products from Milani that I love, curler, uh, little mirror, hair tie, sharpeners, contacts. Um, then over here I have mascaras. So th these are literally my two favorite mascaras of all time right here. Cheap, expensive, both amazing. Um, anyway, I've got some other things I'm still kind of trying out or they're maybe like close to being on the way out. Um, here's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk I use every day for primer. Um, I have a lot of liquid liners in here, some new brow products from Maybelline I'm trying out. Um, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This a bunch of pixie liners that are really good for like brightening the waterline. And then this is another one like that from Tarte called Fake Awake. I haven't tried yet. It's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, a new Physicians Formula Mascara I don't think I want. My favorite, my Cila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Best Liquid Eyeliner in the whole wide world. Um, got my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've got their triangular pencil as well. Things like that. So, oh, oh my gosh. And my favorite, my Hourglass 1.5 millimeter gel eyeliner in Obsidian. It's like they're black and it's just like the thinnest, tiniest, really creamy black liner. I love it. So, all kinds of things in there. And then back there, I just have like little um, hair things to hold my hair back. So, really an unexciting drawer, I would say. <laughs> Although it's full of a lot of favorites. So over here I have a picture of our puppy beagle Pinocchio. He's not really a puppy anymore. Um, and then just a white marble coaster. We have a set in the other room and I just pulled one in here. I got this on Amazon. These are most of my liquid lipstick type products. So I have the hard candy velvet mousses. I love these. Had a bunch from MAC. Very, very drying as are really like all of these. Um, but some good colors. I really like this color in Burnt Spice. I think that one's really pretty. Um, and then I have a bunch of Ofra ones. I love the Ofra ones. No, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I just genuinely love them. I know some people are, I don't know. But um, I have, I think most shades, I love their deeper colors, like their berries and reds are amazing. Um, and then I have a Sephora one back here, some of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro matte glosses. I just like these a lot. They're not necessarily liquid lipsticks. And then some from the Balm. I have a lot more in my collection of these as well, but these are kind of the ones I pulled out. So this is just a plant we bought at just some random store. It's actually real. It sometimes needs dusted though, you know? Um, anyway, but I really like it because I haven't killed it yet, which is a big deal to me. And then this is like actually like a ceramic flower pot, but I just have my brushes that I'm using currently in it. Not a lot. I just recently cleaned mine. Uh, so I just have out what I've been using the past couple of days. And then this is a simple human mirror. I don't want to turn it towards you because it gets, I mean, it's just crazy. Magnified, so you have to be pretty close to actually use the mirror, but it automatically comes on, turns off, so you do charge it like, I charge it probably once a week or so. Um, but I really like it because it's really, really well lit when you're doing your makeup, it's awesome. Very expensive, it was something I think I got for like Christmas or my birthday I asked for. And then this is just a Tarte warmer actually, and I got it at like Walmart or somewhere like that. You can find things like that everywhere. I get a lot of questions about it, but if I can find a leak, I doubt I can. It was a while ago I got it, but I do like this. I think it's cute. So, so this is a frame I got from TJ Maxx. I think that's where I get all my frames, really. Um, and this is a picture of us in Disneyland Paris on our honeymoon. And then this is just a candle holder from Bath & Body Works that I got, I think, from my future sister-in-law, actually. I love it. And then this is a Nest candle I got from Hope Look for way cheaper than the regular price. It sounds like this video is sponsored by Hope Look. It's not. <laughs> I just love Hot Look all the time. I love it all the time. I use it all the time. And um, I save a lot of money on it, so there. So hopefully you enjoyed the collection, this was not a declutter video, Jessica. My makeup collection video. If you're interested in declutters though, I do declutter my collection all of the time. And so I will link my playlist below if you're wanting to like, maybe you love looking at makeup, but you also wanna see someone get rid of some and like, it just feels good. If you've never seen one, it is a weird feeling, but you'll end up being addicted the way I am. I was gonna say the way I was, no. I am still addicted to makeup declutter videos. I watch them all the time. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully you'll check that out and subscribe in the meantime, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.